Hello everyone, my name is Tromat and today we're going to do an Annie mid guide and we're going to talk about how to generally play Annie, what are her builds, runes, abilities, what to max and all of that stuff. We're going to start with the practice tool for 4 to 6 minutes until we discuss that and then we're going to jump into a full game and we're going to see how we do there. So, without wasting too much of your time, I want to go very quickly over build options, rune options, what to max, how to play her in general. So for runes, you have two main options, Electrocute and Predator. Predator is more macro oriented, more rare. You're going to see OTP is mainly playing with Electrocute. And then for secondaries, you're going to, for the second runes, you're going to have Chip Shot or Taste of Blood option here. So you're going to for Chip Shot if you like to damage people when they are stunned or Taste of Blood if you think the matchup is, uh, you need more sustain. Eyeball Collection is kind of the best in slot here. Ravenous Hunter or maybe the ultimate cooldown reduction, the other rune, but I believe this one rune is very strong. So I'd say, I'd say you could play with this most of the time. And for secondary, you can go for multiple options. One is Nimbus Cloak and Scorch or Nimbus Cloak Transcendence here. Another one is Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic against matchups that can kill you. And another one might be Presence of Mind, but that one is not really necessary. And uh, also the latest one would be Resolve with Bone Plating. But I suppose Nimbus Cloak and Scorch could give the most utility and damage because when you flash Nimbus Cloak procs in or when you ignite Nimbus Cloak procs in and also the Scorch slash Transcendence, both of them are e equally kind of good as, is, as it gives immediate damage or immediate cooldown reduction at, actually at minute 10. But if you want to be more like uh, sustainish to survive more or to play with Corrupting Potion as a first item, you could go for Biscuit and Time Warp Tonic. So this is about runes, I don't want to spend too much time on this. This rune will come in handy if you flash and do the combo, we're going to talk about the combo, it's simpler and it helps you more. So I guess this is the basic uh, the basic rune setup. Also rune stats, 2 AP runes and the last one based on needs, maybe armor, maybe magic resist, whatever you need. Also for items, you can start either with Doran's Rig and 2 potions or alternatively you could start with a corrupting potion. Alternatively, obviously in games where you get fed, you could go for a dark seal into Mejai, but oh no, don't AFK warning me. But yeah, you don't, you don't necessarily need that. Uh, because this is a very you need you need you need to be very good or you need to not to, to not die a lot right so if I if you start with corrupting you want to go for uh, time warp toning maybe but if you start with Doran's ring one build path could be lost chapter into boots into finishing Ludens into getting two vision words somewhere that I'm going to sell the potions into upgrading sork shoes into maybe orb then Rabadons or upgrade faster orb into Morelos because they have lots of fillers. Sorry, not two times. So yeah, this this could go handy with Rabadons or maybe before Rabadons you could get a stopwatch somewhere there into Rabadons into Zonias. Sorry, and then maybe sell the ring for some pens such as Void stuff or Lyandris, obviously this build can change, you could get maybe instead of Rabadon's Lyandris faster or instead of Zonia, so you could go Ludens into Orb, into Lyandris if they have lots of tanks, or you can go Ludens into Orb, this is how I generally play honestly, into Rabadon's, into maybe Zonia's or Void Stuff or before. Obviously there are lots of choices, another path is that you could go Ludens into Orb, into Spellbinder or into Rabadons or Ludens into Spellbinder directly or an alternative build before this is that you could play with the other route such as maybe start ring, maybe start corrupting, doesn't matter, maybe get even another ring, another dark seal, but this is not what I talk about. We may think of this build as, uh, sorry not this, as the dash build so you can go for Hexter's Revolver into Boots into conf into finishing this and then that into sork shoes and into immediate immediate spellbinder so this is the fastest build but you don't really have that much mana on it and this is the strongest in terms of uh catching people right so you can just use spellbinder flash you can do this you can bam instant or you can instant bam catch people right so this this item is very useful in some contexts but generally in the example in the video that i will play i will go for the standard mid build that we talked about so ring into ludens into that i'm not going to do that build again because we need to 
uh, not waste your time guys because that's very important because this needs to be quick and I already talked too much so very quick rundown of the spells you want to max Q first obviously you want to max alt at 6 11 16 you want to max Q first then W then E but ultimate Q W E this is the order you get this at level 1 you get either this or this at level 2 based on needs but and it's pretty simple as a champion and this is one of the most simple champions mid laners in general in the game So we're going to talk about how simple she is in terms of that her uh, passive is that at four abilities cast You basically get pyromania and you will stun a target with one for one dot 15 second 50 seconds, sorry her, her Q basically you throw this ability if you kill the target so the minion or the uh, of the minion or the champion or the jungle camp if you kill it you can see it says here half the cooldown is refunded and the mana is fully refunded right so when you press Q you can easily farm with it online you will see that in the game I, I farm generally with Q because it's so simple W is a simple AoE spell this is all it does it deals damage like this E gives you 30% damage reduction and 46 movement speed so into the late game when you have this max stuff you are way more tanky and you have to press it right because it's not that long so whenever the burst comes bam you hit it up you survive more and then you have the tibbers and you can control tibbers pressing R as you can see here and if you go out of the range uh, tibbers will reset to you so this is all you need to know sorry all you need to know about the spell so you see it comes here and now let's say let's do the combo real fast right most easy combo that you could do is put a word, wait for a target, flash alt. Wait, I think it was an alt. Ah, I need I need Tibbers to. Ah, I need to kill Tibbers. <laughs> wait, Tibbers, go die, because I want to show the combo. I want to show the combo. Go, 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 go. Get yourself killed. Get yourself killed. Uh, this is the main problem in the practice, too, because there is no way to. I don't think there is a way to actually kill Tibbers. Alright, so the main combo, right? Their, their line is here, their mid line. Let's say you are hidden here, wait, you wait, you wait for the ADC and mid laner. You go in, bam, full combo, and then you kill the target. Oh, obviously ignite. So the combo is flash, alt. So flash, alt, imagine I ulted, then Q, ignite, W, E, all of them. You can use E just for the damage that will come from the enemy team. But if you get one, ta one target down, then it's simple. Obviously, you're going to want to add in stuff like protobult and other stuff maybe spellbinder where is it here if you you activate spellbinder from here let's say so spellbinder flash protobelt full combo this is this is it this is the combo this is all you need to know besides what we talked about two two very much important things need to be understood for this champion first one every time you do the combo the simplest way is as i said by flash but you have to have the stun up so you gotta stack the bar by walking to the room by walking to the game by walking to the team fight you have to start the bar up so you have it full as you can see right here and before before you engage on someone every single time every single time before you do an engage i see people missing that up a lot you flash you cast the ult you stun bam if you don't stun people if you don't stun people then you aren't playing any right so if you if you flash alt with three stacks right here so let's say you flash right and you Q thinking you will stun no you look at the bar every single time so that you stun people so that you know that CC goes down without that CC at the proper time people will have time to react to escape you're not going to be able to one shot people that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about so that's the most important so the easiest skills are when you have flash up but when you don't have flash up against good people they will know how to kite you they will know how to get outside of your range so that's why a lot of people actually go for the other builds for the spellbinder for the um uh, why i'm a dumb why <laughs> i'm so dumb for the spellbinder and hextage so basically these two tools help you close the gaps and gives you enough stuff to actually reach team fights and stuff before and without having flash so we can do this so when you feel like you can't flash every single fight or you can't find the right angles, the right macro angles, so the enemy team comes here and they don't have vision here so you can just kill someone over the wall with this or flash and kill someone over the wall with this, then you could use these two items. So you have to try them and you have to practice them. This is all that I wanted to say and I believe this is the most important thing on Annie bef before the facts that we talked about. So yeah, focus on this and you will do fine. So here we are guys into the game we're playing as we said enemy mid against Vagar. we are 
uh, invading, but uh, uh, this guy's AFK. <laughs> no, it's no longer AFK. All right, so we are playing against the Vagar, and he has teleport Syndra, but she has teleport Silas Top. He has teleport. What is this? And Trash also AP. So four AP and the very badly scaling AD champion. So if Lee Sin doesn't get ahead, we can just stack Magic Resist and we win this. So we gotta identify what are our options. Now basically, we will be able to kill Vegar probably only at level 6 because of his cage. And uh, what is this? Why is everyone FKing? And because of that, we will be able only then. So we could maybe try to catch him off guard, fully combo him, and so we could we could do so. But besides that, we would be interested in team fights to probably get rid of Silas if he gets a good ult, or get rid of Syndra if she's ahead, or uh, maybe even Lysin if he tries to engage. So we can we kind of have to stun him. I missed that while I was talking. So let's perfectly farm now for like. Two minutes from now on <laughs> let's perfectly farm from now on all right so this one is first this one is second i could go in come on already oh i know what happened i know what happened they tried to surprise them and because they failed listen came in time and they got the kill on our aphelios and our on nautilus so basically they already have advantage it's a common mistake guys don't do that if you wait in tree bush, their jungler, after they start red, will follow. Most likely will follow, unless he goes right. Some don't, some do, so yeah. Now I have to be careful around here, as as now Lee Sin practically knows there is a blue buff and practically took it. And also if I want to not die to ganks, I'll have to stay out of Vegar's stun range. I have to practically farm. Also, by the way, I haven't lost a single minion since I talked about that. I will lose that because it's too far, it's too deep. And I will want to get this one and then back the hell off. Because I want to word this top side and stick to it. Right, so put the word there. And now we can expect getting ganked from the bot side. I want to get the cannon after it deals a bit more damage to these minions. So now it's a good moment. Gonna Q. So you can see I'm perfectly farming with Q without problems. I lost, yeah, the first few minions or so. But we have advantage, as you can see, because now Vegar is behind. I already am ahead in CS without getting the full wave. So that's the fun part. And with any, you can farm so simple. You don't have, compared to other champions, that's why I say any simple champions, because two reasons. One, you can easily farm with her. Well, three reasons. Two, you are kind of safe with her because you have a stun, which you could keep up at times. Oh no, I missed that. And three, you could easily one-shot people, well, one-shot, three-shot people with your combo. And she has this enormous potential for teamfights, which you should take advantage of. So if you're not behind, so if I'll play safe, then my goal will be just to be careful in a teamfight and one-shot someone. I'm not gonna get that in time, I'm gonna lose... Yeah, I'm gonna lose those CS. Two CS advantage, still fine, even though I farm pretty badly, because I'm focusing on this video. So... We don't really have to try to be aggressive with Vegar because we will probably never even get into the range because of his cage. And I like to farm, I like to farm like that. I just take a look at the map, I'm gonna deep ward, gonna see where Lysin is, and I'm going to play around that. So that's what I can do. Right, one more Q here. I'm gonna W because I don't wanna miss it. So now we, we, we have a time, a good time of pushing this. I got hit by that Q. Is listen here? Yep, listen is there. So we now know. Now know where listen is. Also, we can see it's uh, Syndra and listen starts to get some kills. So we could maybe get six and try to one shot the listen on a word if we maybe get to it. So we could go here. Okay, we see the listen. I could just run away now because there is no way they will catch me. And we we see Zach is coming. Okay, we got the flash. That's fine. But you should back off, man. You don't have flash. You have flash! Back off! Flash! Get out! Alright, get the kill. Flash, flash, flash! Good! That's how we play. Syndra teleport, by the way. What? And can you not farm, please? Alright, so we, we did pretty fine here. Even though Syndra teleported. If Silas teleported, we would have died. And... The fact that Zack delights so much his uh, 
What are you doing, man? Why are you baiting me? The, sec the fact that Zack delayed so much his flash actually net does a kill on Tulisin because he, for some reason, played so aggressively. Alright, so get this. We are 12 CS ahead now because he lost so much. Man, what are you doing? Please, 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 please be safe. Please be safe. I can't focus on farming if there is a constant threat of Alisin. Why is Lissin so behind? Both junglers have low farm also. I'm seeing Lissin on top. So I could just take this. Nice. And now we back off. Press recall. We have a lot of gold and we have to decide now. This is the first decision you'll make on your first back. It's either if you go for Lost Chapter or for Proto Belt. And I really like Lost Chapter and the Vision Ward and the Potion. This is generally what I like most. I would say here if she ults the Lee Sin and turns she could actually get the double kill. But yeah, that, that works too, I guess. So now we got the kill on the scene, we could think of getting a kill on Vegar because he has no flash. But that would mean that I need to get in range of him and that means that I would need to cast more than one spell, which is kind of difficult. Okay, I didn't miss any one of those, really thought I was going to miss them. But still, we have 14 CS advantage, maybe more, probably more because that 15 CS advantage somewhere, somewhere there, yeah. Right, so we just farm right now, farm, farm, farm. No big deal, no rush, even though the score is in their favor, we have a Fiora on top, which hyperscales, we have a Tristana, which uh, is kind of stronger than the Syndra, eventually, with Nautilus combined and Zack. We have to wait for Zack ganks also, so I'm going here, even though I get poked, I'm gonna back off, I'm gonna proc the potion, even though I'm not low enough, I just want to be full HP before trading in. So I'm going to cast here a W, then I'm going to start netting these minions down right gonna auto attack each one of them right right this because we want to start pushing because we see zack is going towards drake or maybe towards bot and we would be interested in that right and now we resetted we we made the lane to be reset okay go 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 this is free this should be free now so we could we could push we could put this okay go, go, go. guys 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 actually we can just can just take this. I'm gonna tank one or two. They have no idea because Syndra didn't. Okay, Trash might check now, but it's fine. We got it. I'm gonna throw another cube. Oh, you don't have smite? You'll be fine though. Right, so we got. I lost minions. Oops. Okay, I got. I got the listen. Got the listen there. I'm not sure why he went so aggressive again, he probably didn't expect this instant burst. So now I'm level 8 and he's level 5, so <laughs> this is going to happen way more often if they are not careful. I know Vegar has no flash, yet I don't have flash either, so I'm just gonna back off. I'm gonna back off because it will take him a while to push this and I have time to come back. And this is going to mean a Blasting Wand for us, another Vision Ward, I'm not gonna get another potion. And I'm gonna rush back to the mid lane. I think he has time yet to push them to the tower. He started Wing and he he will get he will not get CS advantage, but he has probably some experience advantage. But if I reach this wave in time, like I do, I do pretty well, I will be able to actually miss no CS from those four, so I'm actually okay. I'm actually very okay right now. So if I because I have blue buff, I allow myself to Spam some W's, spam some Q's, also Fiora died, that's not really good for us. But because we have this blue buff, we could think of a roam, because we could uh, push this very fast. So we now start to go towards bot lane, okay, we've seen that. We're gonna work here so that we don't get surprised, okay, we see Lee Sin. Well, this is just sad. I don't have ult anyway. If he dies, which he is, he's man man why do you do that now they just backed off because they knew Vega probably pinged them and they knew I was coming and this guy should back off now it's fine really listen is inting as we can see that dive was so uncalled for all right so the Vega took that just gonna cast here a W gonna try to hit all the CS into the line and Nautilus still died, I hate that. 
but I suppose I suppose it's fine because we got the kill on top right so get that you could maybe jump on trash if man man that was a free kill well all right so we can think of again another vision worth here okay two vision words wasted by Vegar. mine is still there mine is still in the bag though the other one right so we're gonna push now gonna cast a Q there the CS per minute is pretty good considering I didn't take any jungle camps and you can see they are still linting and I'm trying to think of a roam but I could just I could either recall here or we could spend more time I could try to full push a wave and then back off because I'm 16 CS ahead anyway and he's recalling too but I could just fast, pu fast push this he should match he should match by casting spell as well by trying to cast some spells okay I did not want to hit the cannon with that okay got the cannon and now we can recall because we know Lysin was dead and they don't have time to actually come here maybe they would have time to collapse but Vegar wants to recall so he probably will and maybe it's not a good idea to recall but my guess is that Lysin is not going to come maybe a bad guess because I'm pretty sure Lysin is both side all right so we see a fight here and who wins all right we see who wins come on man 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 you misplayed that you misplayed that all right gonna cast this another Q this guy is dead not even gonna butter actually actually All right. There is a need for the Tristana to start do stuff. Man. Man, you had so much here. You had so much for free here. Well, at least we're getting a bot lane. But man. Vegar didn't do anything in all of that time, by the way. So it was free for us. That was really free for us because he went towards this can you get out I can't get out and you're dead and Syndra got so far ahead because Tristana for some reason decided well I'm tilted I'm just gonna farm and 0-3 not gonna batter so I could have got the kill on Lee I could have got the kill on Trash unfortunately I didn't I got caught, caught up by a, a good hook so that's fine it's not the end of the world it's sort of a misplay sort of the fact that Tristana didn't roam enough. The misplay is that I did not calculate the fact that Tristana wouldn't come. Maybe. But we're good. We're good. Because we're good because on top lane we do fine. You can see we almost got two towers. But on bot I could just flash on top of Syndra. Which I should. And I will. And so we will keep farming now. Because we want to keep that sweet, sweet farm an advantage. And what confuses me though is why we don't win bot because <laughs> we should considering the comps we should all right let's think of a rom now and they are backing off perfectly if listen comes i'm fine i'm okay with it all right start it and drag it out shouldn't we we should they, they don't know that we're doing or not trick so we could just start it all right at this point I could just go here and they engage on what what all right I'm behind them okay okay oh man oh man I inted. I inted. I inted. No, I inted. <laughs> I inted. Why did I go there? Ah, uh, why did I go there? I was so blind to the fact that that was so obvious. Don't, don't, don't. Actually, you could. That's an easy kill there. She doesn't have alt. Oh my god. Oh my god, that trash. Uh, teleport. Teleport back off. 
Why did Fiora... No, <laughs> don't. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Back off, back off. I'm gonna go for instant orb, then into Sork Shoes. Zack is dead. Alright, or he's not because Vegar didn't ult. <laughs> he didn't cast ult. Alright, I misplayed that one. Gave a click kill for free. I admit it, it's completely my fault. Should have thought that Syndra used ult into that fight defensively. So that was my argument. That was my defense. I really hope you enjoy my defense, guys. Uh, I could go here, but we already got it. We should got this. And I really like free stuff, so I'm going for this one. Maybe even clear some of top side jungle of that guy. They should just back off. And we're gonna get this. Super, super nice. I can push this and get extremely far ahead in CS. And this will just practically put me an entire level ahead. I am already an entire level ahead of Vegar, but not quite full level in terms of experience. Right, so we with this we are just fine. And we can push a bit and then we can start thinking of going mid back. But I want 300 more gold. So I'm just gonna... Okay, he, he worded that. I could back off now. Because we know that he's here. We know that he's uh, gonna get help from some things or someone. We see Syndrome bot, which means we are free to try to one-shot someone. I'm not a full level ahead now. I'm not. I am... A bit less than that, half a level maybe. And I need 140 gold more for my uh, sword shoes. But I do have my max damage for this uh, for this gold. This amount of gold that I have right now after I get sword shoes is the max damage you could probably get in terms of burst, right? I don't think there is any combination that gives you more burst than this. Okay, that's good. And now we have enough gold for this. I could push another wave now because they are fighting, they are winning. Ah, it's over. We won the game. Because she because Syndra died there, I actually have the power and resources to actually take this because I know no one is going to follow. Right? The only problem is that this guy will try to steal it. Ah you are annoying man. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm out. That was a very good flash by the way. I really thought Silas was there for a second, but it's fine. That was just a flash. I am still first in CS into the game. Don't have a bounty. Interestingly enough, Fiora has. But someone will die here if they aren't careful. Right, so I'm gonna recall here. My vision word is still here. You can see here the power of a single vision word, guys. It's still here and it's still doing its job. We could get this. We should get this. And normally, I should stay bot now. But as you can see, this turns into a fiesta, so I have to stay around a bit more. I'll just go top. Come on, take this. It's free. They they could go bot as well, the Fiora. But she shouldn't stand a chance against their bot lane. Right, gonna proc that. And we're gonna get this. And we're gonna profit out of it. One more auto attack, right. Okay. Don't think even I casted that into the range. Alright, nice. Now we're gonna push top. We're gonna get another CS advantage, continuing that over the Vegar. Alright, gonna do it like this, but I'm not gonna go further. Okay, I'm gonna go further because I have that vision word. I'm not gonna go further after this zone. Because this is the zone where you get killed if you push further than this. With this vision word you're safe, most likely. Odds are it's very hard for them to kill you. Okay, not... Ah, the cannon! No, the horror! The horror, man. Alright, so what's the next item you would go to for this into this point? Either a stopwatch if you really need it, but Rabadons is what, where the powerhouse lives. And we're gonna recall here, we have 20% cooldown reduction, right? We don't necessarily need more than that. And we could just ult someone after Nautilus engage or Zack engage. We don't really have to flash ult. We flash ult oft after the towards the engage if we want. And that should be on Syndra mainly. And look, this item ended the game for them, for their comp. This item right here, Spirit Visage, ended the game. Merc Treads as well, because, well, Merc Treads. I'm gonna cast W on this, because it's so simple to get kills with it. I see Vagar on top, so I don't really need to match my team's pressure because we are on the offensive right 
So that's when you should... Oh my god, I should focus on that. That's when you should have advantage. When you're on the offensive, you're... I'm gonna get there first, right? So I'm fine. Alright. This is where we could get the kill on Vegar, Or we could get the kill on someone else. Vegar will come from here, right? So we can just... And now we could just throw the Tibbers in there. And we could think of getting this guy down. Alright, another kill. So Tristana now jumps. She got the kill, the right kill on that. And the Q there would actually get another kill for us. And another kill here. I don't have anything to get the kill, but we still won it. It's pretty simple. The macro idea was just to wait for the Vegar and to one-shot him. And we can actually end the game. Whoa, this is so fast. They, they don't actually have time to defend it. Right, and one more there, come on. One more hit. No, not even having time. <laughs> That's what was so fast. Yeah, that was the game you've seen, guys, what I did. I didn't even... I didn't carry it. The only mistake I did was on bot when I died to Syndra, the real mistake. And Tristana did the another mistake, but you outscaled them. And the fact that I just farmed, 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 kept me on t enough gold on top of my head so that I could one-shot the Vegar when he missed positions. And that was over for him. Vegar didn't do anything this game. And I say it because I tried to counter him in most fights. I, I, he did one mistake on the teleport, but instead, a bit after that, he didn't do anything because I was there to stop him. That was my job. I was first into the fight, he had teleport, he should have kept the teleport to try to counter somehow my team, but he didn't. And so that's how we won it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time guys, goodbye.